I've been seeing it on Twitter and on the forums and in my comments section and from chatters and stream, people are singing the praises of the new high impact legendary pulse rifle from Neomuna, the Philotactic Spiral. And I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm gonna pronounce it and I'm sure many of you will tell me in the comments section, just like you always do, that I am in fact incorrect and that's okay. Now I have to be honest, my first drops of this gun were interesting on paper as I was kicking this new season off a few weeks ago and I took them in for you know a quick spin in PvP and I was pretty thoroughly unimpressed. But I chalked it up to being random rolls, not finely tuned, not fully crafted, and I assumed that I would make the rounds and come back to it later, but I didn't feel the urgency back then to get it done. But here we are now, a few weeks later, and people keep telling me it's a banger of a gun. So I decided to take the time to craft my Philotactic Spiral, and then level it up exclusively in PvP, without a single shot fired in PvE, just so I could really get to know the weapon and feel it grow and change over time as I leveled it up and made modifications in real time to get it to be the best version of itself that I can make it. And here I am nearly 700 kills later and I have some thoughts. Is this the premier sleeper weapon of the season flying comfortably under the radar while things like the Immortal take center stage? Well, let's chat about it. First things first, let's talk basics. The Philotactic Spiral is an arc energy pulse rifle of the high impact variety. Now that's a family of pulses that's, uh, it's kind of interesting because it's sort of like a cult following of the pulse family. Most people only ever play around with the messenger because it's the king of that category. It's really not up for debate either. In that family, the messenger is the undisputed champion of the bunch with stats and perks that so far outclass all of the others that Bungie felt the need to remove it from the loot pool so we'd have a reason to chase the others. But also in this family, you've got the Cold Denial from Season of Arrivals, you've got the Premonition from Shadowkeep, the New Purpose from the Duality Dungeon, the Stars in Shadow from the Crucible, and the Legal Action World Drop Pulse. Each of these has redeeming qualities, and it's so interesting just how varied people's feelings about them are. In fact, I asked on Twitter today, what are your favorite high-impact pulses? And uh, I mean, there were literally hundreds of responses, and there was like no uniformity at all. So in that sea of confusion, can the Philotactic Spiral stand out? and settle the debate of which one is the best? Or does it just sort of slip into that chaos and add another option? Well, hopefully you'll know by the end of the video. For base stats, the Spiral has 58 range, uh, which isn't great, you know, it's, it's the second lowest in the family. It's got 44 stability, which is also on the low end, and everything else in the weapon is pretty average across the board for base stats. The zoom value is 18, which is standard for high impacts, but obviously the one glaring difference is the fact that the spiral can be handmade and finely tuned to your liking, removing the need for that perfect 5 out of 5 god roll RNG. The perks can also be enhanced, and that's a big deal too, so we can't just overlook it. One thing regarding the base stats that I think is at least worth mentioning before moving on to the perks though, is that zoom value and the range, right? So with the zoom value being standard and the range being relatively low in the family, it's kind of hard to stack this thing up side by side against, for example, the legal action, which has 22 base zoom and 62 base range, a combo that means the damage drop off does not start until 47 meters out at base. That's without any other perks on it. The spirals base drop off range is 37.75 meters, almost a difference of 10 meters. That is a nothing to sniff at. Now, obviously the legal action is a kinetic weapon and some people say that comparison is unfair, but many players approach their loadout not from an energy and kinetic starting point, but rather a weapon combo standpoint. And that's what I do. Like I want to run a sniper in an SMG. What are my options? I want to run a high impact pulse and a shotgun. What are my options? And for players like that, legal action certainly makes a strong case for itself. But moving on to perks, the Philotactic Spiral has in the first column, Keep Away, Perfect Float, Tunnel Vision, Hot Swap, Compulsive Reloader, Hip Fire Grip, and Under Over. The first column is overall fairly unimpressive with 
One clear standout winner for PvP, and that's Keep Away. It's going to help make up for that poor base range on the Pulse, grant extra accuracy, and help with the slow reload speed all at the same time. Perfect Flow isn't really the play here. Obviously, you're not going to be jumping around like a kitty cat in the middle of gunfights with this, with this, you know, high impact Pulse. Hot Swap isn't going to help the gun stand out. Compulsive Reloader is basically a worse version of Keep Away without the range and accuracy benefits. Hipfire Grip is rarely going to matter, and Under Over is highly situational. Tunnel Vision, on the other hand, is the only other perk in this column that I think you would really want to consider. In fact, Tunnel Vision is actually a really solid pick for sixes and helps with the uh, consistency issue, which I'll get to later. But in the first column, Keep Away and Tunnel Vision are the only two that stand out to me. Moving on to the second column, you've got Volt Shot, Kill Clip, Head Seeker, Frenzy, Gut Shot, Harmony, and Elemental Capacitor. This isn't as easy a choice as the first column, I think. There are some great choices here. Kill Clip, obviously always a good call, especially combined with Tunnel Vision in the first column for some serious kill chaining potential. If that's what you want to do is kill chain and sixes, hey, that perk combo right there might be your best bet. Frenzy can help secure some easy two bursts from time to time. Harmony can be a great pick if you're confident with your other weapon. Elemental Capacitor is especially good on a Void subclass, but for all-around usability and consistency, I had to go with Headseeker. There are some clips in here where I'm just two-bursting people, you know, right and left, and it's not because I got a kill first and reloaded or earned it by being in combat for a specific amount of time. It just happens because Headseeker is there working on my behalf. And I found that I really needed Headseeker's help sometimes because of that inconsistency issue, which I'll get to next. But as far as perks go, I landed on this crafted combination along with a stability masterwork built into it. I wanted my recoil direction to be perfectly vertical while also getting some extra stability along with it. I've had a lot of success with this combo, lots of fun streaks and multi-kills, and, uh, and when the weapon felt good, man did it feel good. But that brings me to the inconsistency issue. Honestly, this pulse rifle feels like inconsistency personified. Like I said earlier, when it's on, man did it feel on, and when it's good, it's dang good. The two burst kills without some damage perk active from a previous engagement, they felt great. I found myself spamming less and being much more intentional about each trigger pull, and that helped me start getting those two burst kills much more frequently. But on the flip side of the coin, sometimes this gun just feels whack. Like you point and you shoot right at somebody and it just gives you all body shots or completely whiffs entirely. And in this meta, whiffing shots with such a slow firing archetype of weapon is often a death sentence. There's no forgiveness, no wiggle room. You either land those shots or you say a prayer and offer up a Hail Mary and pray a teammate puts the enemy down before they kill you. But this weapon is ultimately extremely unforgiving. That's why I started to really keep my distance be intentional about which lanes I was challenging with this thing. I needed to keep things at arm's length if I wanted to make the most of this weapon. I like the Pulse a lot, but I'm going to keep it 100% real with you guys. If the goal of this video is to answer the question, is the Philotactic Spiral a sleeper weapon this season that's going to rise to the top? I think the answer is most likely no. It's good. Heck, it's real good. And some people are going to fall in love with it and use it religiously, and that's great. We don't all need to be running around with the most meta things all the time. If a gun speaks to you, hey, it speaks to you, and that's great. But I also don't think it's going to break any molds. If you're a legal action fanatic, for example, I think you'll find this pulse to be similar to yours, but just not quite as consistent. But I'm interested to know what you think. If I gave this weapon a score of 7.5 out of 10, how would that make you feel? How would you rate it? Would you rate it higher, lower? And how did you craft yours? Let me know in the comments section below, and thanks as always for watching the video today. Please feel free to leave a like on the video only if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for additional Destiny 2 content. Be warm and well fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.